Hey everyone, I'm Neha and I'm working as a senior software engineer in MathWorks. Me and my team are working closely with Simlink models to deliver you features which will improve your modeling standard. Today in this video, I bring up to you the edit time library pattern detection feature using two different workflows. Let's see a demo on how to use this. Let us start the demo with the library file. So here I have an uh, example library file with three different subsystems and different different contents in them. Now let me try to open my model. We need to set the configuration details in the model. For that go to modeling and from there click on configuration editor. You can search for clone here and it will show you the check like this. Identify clones from a link library file. You have to enable this check and then save the configuration in a file. I am giving it some name, config and I am setting that as a default setting. Now I am dragging the library block to the model. And you can see that as soon as I uh, drag the library, all of the blocks in this pattern are highlighted. Now, as we move to different different active editors in the model, we see that wherever we find the patterns from the library, we are highlighting them everywhere. If we click on this option here, it says that our subsystem has a matching pattern in the library. Click on the open option here. It will open the clone detection app from the model. So we see that we have options like find clones, replace clones and all here. And also all the cumulated results are shown in this table. We can see that we have identified clones from two different subsystems in the library and which has like these many repetitions in the model and if we click on them it will go to the path where the pattern is there and highlight the pattern. Let's try out with some other blocks as well. Yeah. So as we can see it's highlighting everything. Now we'll see how we can use the edit time library pattern detection option from the model advisor app. So for that, we open up the model advisor for modeling. Here, we get the option of all the hierarchies inside the model. You can select the hierarchy you want. I am selecting the top model. So this will load all the checks, all the edit time checks that we have. Um, because I have already the default configuration set, for the type clone detection, you can see that my checkbox for identified clones is already checked. You can click on the option of run checks and this will show you all the blocks in the model which has the violation of any time library pattern detection. We can also click on the fix option which will navigate you to the clone detection app as the previous workflow. Hope you like the a feature we have worked on and thank you very much for watching this video.